What's up, YouTube? This is Ultimate Yu Gi Oh! Asian coming at you guys with uh, Batman Boxer deck profile. So, yeah. Um, I've been playing this deck uh, for a while. It's not really that hard to play. And I, um, my regional, one of my buddies, uh, Cameron, um, top 20, um, uh, uh, Utah's regional, um, with Batman Boxers. So yeah, um, I'm just missing a uh, Foolish Burial and some staple cards, but other than that, the deck is pretty complete, um, pretty skill competitive, I think I used uh, really good replacements for them, so yeah. So let's start off, triple standard headgear, um, headgear just like, um, helps you set up, uh, first turn hand is like one of the best setups you can actually play. Three switcher, um, arguably the best card of the deck. Um, that's not in the extra deck. Um, so yeah, basically he's a uh, summon Batman boxer. Uh, get a Batman boxer. Um, so yeah, in your summon a Batman boxer in your graveyard. That's and then you can't special summon anything besides uh Batman boxers that turn for the rest of the turn. So yeah, he's pretty good. Best card to combo off with him. Three glass jaw. The glass jaw helps you add stuff in your hand, sets up for more plays. And the best part about him, you can detach him. Uh, glass jaw effect to get lead yoke effect to get, I mean, to lead yoke effect to get glass jaw effect off to get a switcher, to a switcher, and then switch there uh, whenever to get rid of your lead yoke. Triple spar. Um, people don't like this card. It's like one of my favorite cards in uh, yeah, uh this deck. Basically, what you want to do: attack before you summon him, and then main phase two summon him. So yeah, those are the twelve Batman boxers I play. Other monsters I play. I choose to play two Fire Dog. Uh, Fire Dog just helps me get off my plays, and uh, you don't have to set on anything. And it helps get your graveyard set up when uh, you can get it off. One Brushfire Knight. Brushfire Knight uh, is my replacement for Foolish Burial because I can't find my Foolish Burial. Uh, Thunder King and Pachi Cephalo. Uh, once you get both of these cards out, it's basically playing anti meta from there if you play the deck right. Um, or getting him and TK or him and Dinah. You know, or both of those. You know, um. It's just like locked down from there. Two Goblinberg and one Marshmallow. I choose to play the Marshmallow uh, just to stall out and not be OTK'd uh, and going for game. It's like Cowboy in a way, but you, they have to attack into it. Goblinberg is just too strong um, because he's a warrior, so you can go Excalibur Blade Armor plays. Uh, spells, um, let's see, um, Dark Hole, of course, you have to play the Dark Hole, um, he is like the best staple in the deck with Lead Yoke, NSTs, uh, I don't feel like playing 3, Lightning Vortex, um, since, uh, you know, I need to get away around monsters if I want to go OTK, I just use Lightning Vortex or something. Uh, Lightning Vortex is uh, really good with Glass Jaw. Uh, Lightning Vortex, Glass Jaw, Glass Jaw effect. Add Switcher, uh, Switcher, uh, Summon, Summon, etc. Et Two monster slots helps you speed up the deck. Basically, what it does is target one piece of monster you control um, with the level. Uh, banish one uh, card in your grave with the exact same level and then draw a card in the exact same level as the card you. Selected on your field, uh, you get to draw, um, special summon it. So it's either way, it's a uh, plus one. Two duality. Um, helps you search. That's it. Uh, creature swap and Dota. I play creature swap for the glass jaw. Um, glass just is too good. Uh, yeah. And then the one of's. Uh, which is like everything. Turn mirror force, torrential, bottomless, compulse, warning, 
bribe, break, uh, call, trap hole, and call, uh, two calls and trap hole. I choose to play two trap hole, uh, combos off of the glass jar really well. Um, basically a free add trap hole for fire fist and almost any deck, um, really. So yeah, trap hole is actually pretty good, uh, staple. As in, this is what you really need. Really yoke. Um, so this is what you really need. The Joke, Excalibur, Blade Arm. That's all you need. Nothing else. But I'm playing 3 Lidio, Kachikochi, Utopia, and Roach. I just don't have the Blade Arm and Excalibur. I got rid of them on trades. So yeah, um, that's the deck. Tell me what you guys think down below. And if you guys like, please like the video. And tell me what you guys think I should do to change the deck to make it better. So yeah, as always, I'm always taking uh, any ideas, and yeah, and as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and this is Ultimate Yu-Gi-Oh! signing off. Peace out, YouTube.